Oh, the view slideshow. Ah, I know why. I set it set up one up earlier and deleted it, and so it's already picked up. So this would normally be <laughs> down in your list of um, disabled um, content. Um, so all you do is just select where you want to put it, and I tried decided to put it into the highlighted area for this, and save it. See, even when you've been using Drupal for a long time, it can can stump you every now and again. So if I go back to our front page, to our home page, you'll notice we've got, in a moment, this is a slideshow. And you notice it's changed. Um, and I can mouse over these and it will change it. Now it's not the way that we've got it here yet. We will do that with the styling in a moment. But that's kind of got the first part of our um, site ready. The next ones are extremely easy. I'm just going to go back to structure. I'm going to go back into views. I'm going to, over here on slideshow, I want to edit that and I want to clone it. And this time I'm going to call the view um, news. Continue. Now again, it's still using the same queue and it's still picking up the same information. But this time, I want to go back to our advanced, into our node queue, and I don't want the feature slideshow, this time I want the news. Apply that, and you notice I now have our three articles, but they're in a slideshow presentation. So the format, slideshow, I want to change that to a grid, and I don't want it in columns, columns across the page. Uh, or columns, yeah, they'll also use columns down. I want it to be um, vertical, up and down, and I want there to be five. And I'll apply that. Sorry, I need that to be horizontal, don't I? I don't know. One column, five down. Okay, so we have two articles, um, one on top of the other. Now, we can decide, we could change our number of items here as well um, to however many we want. If we didn't want the first article, then we could skip it three ahead or, or do some other interesting things here. But again, we want ten articles to be shown. Um, we don't need the second image link, so I'm going to click on it and I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to save that. And I'll change the title of this to use and save it again. Okay. And I want to clone this view, and this time I want to call it Trending Topics. Go to Advanced, change the queue to our Trending Topics, and here we have our Trending Topics topics, um, and I just am going to save that. Now I'm going to go to structure, blocks, and here we have our views, our news, and our training topics. Um, I'm going to put the news in the content area for this particular one so we can see it set up. The training topics I'm going to put in the sidebar second, or in this case the sidebar on the right. Again, if you're unsure, you can check this region area here, and it will show you which region is where on this theme. And each theme may be different. Um, as far as the search form goes, in the design here, there's no search form, uh, and there's no there's no column on the the left. There's, so we're going to get rid of everything out of there. So I'm going to take out the search form. I'm going to take out the navigation, and I'm going to take out the user login form. We can always type that into the top. 
and I'm going to save it. And we're going to take a look at the front page. Woohoo! So now we're getting something that's a little bit closer to what we have on the site as far as layout goes. We've got a slideshow. Yep, doesn't look exactly like we want it yet. We're going to theme that. We've got our news articles. No. Over here. And I think I've got doubled up on some articles here. Okay, but you'll also notice that it has all the other articles that were promoted to the front page. So we want to get rid of those from here. So I'm going to go into um, content. I'm going to select all of those articles that we created. Because we initially had them promoted to the front page so we can see them, but we don't need that to happen. I'm going to decide here to demote selected content from the front page. Update. And now if I go back, you notice we only have the, the articles we have in the news. And the, I forgot to change the title in the view. So we'll change that now. So structure, views, my training topics. I'm going to edit that. And you notice I still have the title as news. save it. Okay. So there we have ba the basic layout of the site. Um, and you'll notice we've got this text here. This is kind of default for Drupal if there's nothing being promoted to the front page. I'm going to show you how to get rid of all of this and how to theme this um, really in the next video. But there is something that we need to, to look at. If I go into so the we news article. You'll notice that I've got the slideshow on this page as well. So I'm going to show you how to deal with with that. So it only shows on the front page. Go back into the structure, our blocks, the slideshow. I'm going to configure that. Now the block title. I don't need a title. I don't need to know that it says slideshow. So I'm going to type in here none. This is a special sort of Drupal um, bit of code. It realizes you don't want a title there. And then I'm only going to show it on listed pages. And again, this is a Drupal short code for the front page. So now it's only going to show on the front page. Um, another way to, uh, to, to deal with this would be to um, If you if you only wanted it to go onto the front page, would be to put in the the URL of the front page. Um, if you only want it to appear on admin pages, you do something like admin star. So everything that had an admin page would also get a slideshow. Um, so you can use a relative path as well. Here, um, it's very handy. So I'm going to save that. Um, I want to do the same to the other two views that we added. So the news, uh, I want no title. Uh, news I'll leave a title, but I only want it to be on the front page. And trending topics I'll leave in the sidebar. They can they can always show this. It's fine. So you notice that the slideshow has disappeared, and all we have is the article, the comment page, and we have still have the trending topics on our right-hand side. Um, and again, if you want to remove it, you just remove it from the news. Now, the other thing that we've got here is if we have um, add to trending topics, uh, trending topics. So it's just something to be aware of here, um, and I'm not going to go into how to sort that out just yet in this video. Um, because I want to get on to the theming in the next one. We we're going to create our sub theme and we're going to start styling this to look like our tech byte theme here. Um, so at this stage, I'll just leave it as it is and we'll come back in part four and begin our theming, making this look beautiful.